Hello, welcome to this short video tour of Dorabella, the 1998 Haberasi 36 we have here on a beautiful day in Hamble Point Marina. She is just back from Sweden where she has spent the majority of her time. Um, in, I don't know if you're familiar with the sailing in Sweden, but it's quite a short summer there. So these boats are often uh, laid up for a, a large portion of the year. Uh, Dorabella has the teak on the coach roof here which are very easy to live with the teak. She has a fully battened mainsail. All the controls are at the mast. Uh, boats of this displacement mo uh, moving forward to the mast to work on the sail is really not a problem. Uh, double spreader, silver and ice rig. There's the radar there. Uh, the um, track for the mainsail has the uh, Fredrickson ball slide system, which means it comes up and down very, very easy. There's really no need to take the lines back to the cockpit. Uh, an extra shroud, bottom shroud on uh, all 36s make for a very strong rig. Handrails on the coach roof moving forward. Large hatches for ventilation, um, sorry, mushroom vents and large hatches let a lot of light through. Dorabella has 40 meters of 8mm chain, which is standard on the 36s when they were made. A twin bow roller. Uh, which allows you to add a uh, bow sprit for use with on these uh, modern furling uh, Jenicas cruising chutes. There's a 45 pound anchor there. Strong mooring cleats forward, aft, and amidships, as with all Haberassis. She has a furling head sail, which is going to be view backwards towards the aft of the boat. There's a spinnaker pole on a track, which is permanently stored on the front of the mast there, out the way. A couple of uh, winches, self tailing winches to help uh, tension those lines or reefing lines. Ventilation to the main saloon is by these two Durard vents. Moving aft, you can see the Genoa tracks are adjustable as well from the cockpit. Here's your tempered glass windscreen. The canvas part on top does fold away into a nice little blue leather cover very neatly uh, gives the boat a really sporty look there is gates access for both sides on the guard rails port and starboard very useful for getting lines ashore or crew members ashore or even back on board after a run ashore uh, here's the cockpit main sheet arrangement handily behind the helms person there she has a single line not single line reefing she has a slab reefing main Nice and simple. Quite a big area on the back of the boat uh, with the what we call the gin and tonic seats here. This is a fabulous vantage point when you're sailing, especially when you're heeled over, high side or low side. Get a real feeling for speed when sitting here. This uh, Dorabella has the adjustable backstay tensioner, which is also insulated for an SSB radio. Looking over the transom, she has a stainless steel swimming platform or even ladder with a swimming platform there. There's a little hose that clips on this nipple here uh, for showering off salty water. Uh, outboard bracket and some uh, a man, of, man overboard equipment. Dorabella has a, what we call a spray hood extension. This covers the entire cockpit with um, canvas with uh, windows in. So you can sit up here in any weather and then still enjoy the environment being outside. Even running the heating down below will give you a really nice, cosy, warm place. And it essentially increases the size of the, of the boat. It can be used in all weathers. Here's your helm position. She's got an autopilot directly onto the quadrant. A large cockpit table for four people. Folds very nicely away there. And these are the instruments you have underneath the windscreen, usual suspects, speed, wind, depth, there's your VHF speaker, uh, cockpit speakers for your music, 12 volt chargers. Having the lines in the mast, you get these two sort of work trays underneath the spray hood. These are huge areas and really, really useful for uh, keeping things close to hand in any weather. They'll stay dry and easily reachable. Here we are down below on Dorabella. Uh, this is the layout of the 36s. 
the main saloon here. On the port side under there is tankage. On the starboard side there's stowage. Uh, these berths also, the back lifts up, as we've probably seen before. And there's a little reading lamp under there, mahogany slats. Uh, there's the part of the chain plates arrangement. This is a nice wide berth. The one on the port side is even longer for your taller crew members. You can just see through forward to the forepeak. There's a big V berth there. Uh, before we get to there, this is the main bulkhead. A fantastic finish. All throughout the saloon here. It's a very bright sunny day today. I hope it doesn't affect the camera too much. A forward facing chart table. There's your access from the cockpit and a U-shaped galley. More on that later. Uh, there's some big handrails here just as you come down the steps. These are complemented by grab rails on the roof up here. So you can move around these boats quite safely in any sea conditions. The V berth here has an infill to make it into a bunk. There is storage above and below on Dorabella. There's a small vanity unit with three drawers and a large hanging locker. On the port side here is the head compartment. Uh, 40 litre stainless steel holding tank behind that cupboard. Um, there's a changeover valve, marine heads, boutique grates for the shower drain that pumps out overboard via a pump, a china sink, and the mirror. Ventilation is two opening hatches and also the mushroom vent we saw on deck earlier. Like I said, the port side comes up as well, slightly longer berth there. The uh, galley is the sea galley. Um, obviously, the Th Havarasi 36 is uh, a large displacement compared to modern lighter boats. It's really not going to be thrown around anywhere near as much as those boats. But obviously, coupled with that is you can go much further on these boats. And the bigger the waves, the further you go out to sea, the bigger the waves get as a rule. So you need things like these handrails, these U-shaped galleys to hold you in place as the boat goes up and up and down and down. She has a two burner cooker under here. There's a refrigeration with a small freezer unit. That's the 12 volt fridge there, double stainless steel sink with a foot pump in case your electric pump fails. Here's the uh, chart table, stowage behind, a 12 volt distribution panel. All very tidy, all original. There's no extra switches been added, making it look messy. She has a standalone radar with the Raymarine. There's your VHF and two other navigation instruments: the Lawrence and the Garmin. This chart table is big enough for a folded Admiralty chart. Storage for your pens and pencils. Uh, looking off from here. There is a walkthrough, and then the inboard side is the engine access. I'll show you that later. Uh, two more hanging lockers with louvered fronts for ventilation. And here we have the two plus one arrangement that we see on many Haberassis. The double berth on the starboard side, stowage above, batteries are below here, and the battery charger. She has a, a full ring main, 220 volt ring main for the water heater, battery charger, and outlets throughout the boat. And then on the port side is a sea berth, which is obviously very useful when you're on passage. Just dive in and out of there. Um, you're right here behind the cockpit, you can hear what's going on with the rudder um, and stay in contact with the crew. That's the view forward, back to the saloon. Uh, Dorabella has the MD22 engine uh, with 866 hours on it. Um, that's partially because of her, where she's been living in Sweden. They don't get as much sailing of a sailing season up there as they, we do in the UK or in the Mediterranean. So the boats are often laid up for uh, six to eight months a year. Um, as you can see, relatively new seacocks all back here and further up for the uh, deck drains. There's your water heater. And also she has uh, heating throughout the boat as with all Havarassis. The stern drive there, easily accessible, and the gearbox, exhaust manifold, 
all sound and heat insulated in this engine bay access is excellent. <laughs>